Hey everyone, Golden Ninja 3000 here again. Today I'm doing a little bit of a weird video. I've never done anything like this before, but I will be unboxing the Deadline Contenders Television 2024 gift bag. Contenders Television is an event that kind of kicks off the TV awards season in LA. It had a bunch of panels, probably something like 20 or 30 15 minute panels with the creatives and cast of all the biggest shows of 2023. Each one was 15 minutes long and they were just all stuffed into two days in downtown Los Angeles at the Directors Guild of America Theater. And this was kind of like the first proper Hollywood event I attended. If you don't know, I do write for thecosmiccircus.com just as like a side thing that's not my main job but i really enjoy doing it and i've been to press screenings and written reviews and everything and of course i've been to motor city and la comic con and done interviews but this is the first kind of event like this that i went to and so i really wanted to open the gift bag on camera because i'm just so excited to see what's in it i do kind of know what's in it already because my friend opened theirs but i didn't get a good look at it so it'll still be kind of fun so on the front, we have Nathan Fielder and Emma Stone with their fake company from their TV show, The Curse. That panel was really funny because Nathan Fielder is hilarious and my friend apparently loves him. So already, like, I think the bag itself is pretty cool. But I guess we should go ahead and open it. I do have the brochure from the event here as well. And so it's just got like a bunch of information about all of the shows. And it was really interesting because I hadn't heard about some of them. Like this one I had kind of seen the marketing for, but I never watched it. So it's just, you know, it's nice to hear about these TV shows, and there's definitely a lot that I want to watch after attending this event. And by the way, you can find all of my coverage from the event will be rolling out over the next couple of days on thecosmiccircus.com. But yeah, this bag is pretty high quality, like it's very thick, feels pretty durable, it's got a zipper. So let's go ahead and get this open and see what's inside. So first off, we have a package of Hawaiian rolls. I don't know why this is in here like no one talked about Hawaiian rolls at the panel and I'm trying to think if there was like a TV show or something set in Hawaii but there wasn't there was like a raffle like a four night stay at like the Maui Four Seasons was raffled away to like a random audience member but that's the only connection to Hawaii I can think of from the event everything in here is supposed to be related in some way to a show so on top you can see we have this TVA little like postcard from Loki this is really nice. I mean, this is like a four-year consideration postcard. So, you know, he's like Uncle Sam style telling you to consider voting for outstanding drama series. But I'll scan that QR code and see where it goes. But like, this is a really nice little exclusive thing. And I'm a big Marvel fan. So that's definitely one of my favorite things in here. Uh, what else? Oh, we have a lifetime crossbody bag. Here, let me lower the camera a little bit. Um, and that's Lifetime, like the, the production company, TV channel, whatever. I don't know if I need that. I might give that to someone else. This is really nice. This is a Netflix mug. And this is like super, it feels super high end. Like it's very nicely finished. And that is cool. Uh, I don't really drink out of mugs, but I'm always happy to add to my ever expanding collection. Next up, I think... Yeah, there's this hat. Oh, and there's stuff in the hat. Ooh, okay, so there's these little jams or little spreads, I guess. Like, ooh, I could do like a cracker and cheese board night or something with this. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Again, I don't know what this is connected to, like, show-wise. Um, I mean, one of the shows was Netflix, so that's why there's a Netflix mug. This is from a show called uh what was it? it's like platonic i think yeah so this is from a show called platonic i mean this is a pretty nice hat i'm really surprised at how much stuff is in here so you know i'm happy about that because this event was completely free there was like catered breakfast and lunch that was like pretty good food even the parking was free so to get this much free stuff is also pretty nice uh there's also this oh it's a spray and swipe microfiber screen cleaner that is very helpful for me because I feel like my computer screen and my phone screen is always getting super dirty. Um, but this is from this is from Fox, it looks like. But again, I don't know. I don't know what show that's supposed to be related to. I'm saving this for last because this is what I'm most excited for. This is like a whole bag of Abbott Elementary stuff, and I think it's school supplies. Uh, but Abbott Elementary like got the most applause like after or even more than Loki, but like, yeah, Loki got a big reaction. 
but I want to save the Avid stuff for last because I think it'll be my favorite. There is this Evolution of Smooth 24-Hour Body Lotion. That is... This feels, like, really fancy. I can't believe they put, like, a bottle of lotion this big into this gift bag. And then we have a couple of other things in there. Uh, this is from a show called Parish, which I hadn't heard about before watching. But it's got Skeet Ulrich and Giancarlo Esposito. And it's like a little, it's a little card. That's cool. I like little model cars. I probably don't need it, but this is a wireless charger. Oh, this is going to be perfect for work because I feel like I always need a phone charger at work. So I'll definitely take that in. But yeah, like some of these items are show specific and some of them are just kind of random. So I'm going to pick all this stuff up so that we can look at the Abbott Elementary bag. I love how it looks like this bag came out of the school, like it's something that I could see like a younger kid carrying around. And inside, ooh, this is kind of bent. I wish it wasn't bent. It is just a coloring book, though, and I am not a child, but I mean, maybe I'll color it. These are actually pretty nice images inside. That's kind of cute. Or, I mean, I guess I could also give this to a child to color with, and maybe they would like it a little bit better. But I've never seen something like this. Is this exclusive just for this event or is it like given out at other places because I think it would be cool if this was just available like in stores for kids to color with and then yeah we have a 24 pack of crayons and then another 24 pack of crayons and that is it and it's oh it's global colors oh okay so they're different so you have global colors I guess for like the skin tones and then you have regular crayons so that's pretty nice because I was actually wondering how you would color in like all the skin tones if you just had like one brown crayon but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, this is like definitely good to have for like crafting. But yeah, I was I was hoping we'd have like some Abbott Elementary like pens or pencils or something. Uh, but this is still pretty nice. I'm sure I can find that other stuff online. Okay, so there is everything in the Deadline Contenders Television 2024 gift bag. This is a lot of stuff. Like, I'm pretty happy. I had no idea what to expect when they said that we'd be getting a gift bag. But I do think that there's a nice mix of stuff in here. I'd say most of it is pretty useful. Like, the fact that you get two, like, durable bags and maybe, like, one slightly flimsier bag with the Abbott Elementary thing. Like, that's pretty good. And everyone can use another mug. Everyone can use lotion. And if you don't need that lotion, you know, you can give it to someone who does. Um, and even like the wireless charger and everything is like pretty useful. Even if you can't use it, you can give it to someone. So the only things in here that I don't really like are maybe like the hat. I don't think I'm really going to wear that. The coloring book, I think is definitely less useful for like an adult. If you have a child, that's great, but I do not. I mean, I have my family friends nearby who I could give it to, but yeah, it's not it's not as useful. And I'm a little bit sad, like the low key postcard thing is nice. But I was really hoping there would be like, I was gonna say a shirt, but actually, no, that's not good, because people have all different shirt sizes. But maybe like a water bottle, like that's something that I would have loved to have seen. Not necessarily a Loki one. But yeah, for any of these shows, like getting like a branded water bottle would be cool. Uh, but yeah, like, like the Loki thing is nice, but it's just that the other stuff is a little bit more unique. And so it would have been great to see something as unique for Loki. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the stuff in this bag. If I go to more events in the future and I get more gift bags, I probably will do a similar video because I like doing unboxing style things. And like I said, check out all of my coverage for this event at thecosmiccircus.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. And I'll see you guys with more videos soon. Bye for now.